Hello. Often in computer animation and modeling, you deal with complex objects and uh, they are not easy to handle on a component scale. For example, if you pick this point here and not this one, the opposite side, and then let's say these two here and not the four ones down here and maybe that one here and not the one down there. Uh, so I have five points selected. Uh, so the selection cost me already half a minute. And now I want to, for example, move them out here. So they poke out here. All of them. I made this complex selection in order to do something, whatever, animation with keyframes or whatever. So um, when I do this now, uh, and then I jump to another selection of points. Like I do this, for example. And now I go here and here, not on the other side. And now I do some man manipulations here. And then I would think, okay, I need to adjust some things here. You start picking this one, the ones here. Luckily, they're sticking out. If they were uh, poking in inside that object, it would be much harder to select. So that is uh, selecting them again. You can this make this much easier. And um, the tool you use, it's very old. It's been in Maya since uh, version number one. Um, I'm back at the selection of the f five points here. And uh, I go to the animation menu set here and you find them under Deform. Uh, there are several tools which you can use for here, but a uh, very versatile and easy to understand one is the lattice. So with the components that f five dots selected, I click on Lattice. And this object seems to have nothing to do with the points, but actually it has, because when I translate that one now, I get exactly this selection now which moves in or out. I undo this and uh, right mouse click go to lattice point and here I can for example choose just a li this little point so it would, will only uh, influence the upper part of the, our selection uh, or this point here which does not do very much at all because there's nothing there. Um, as opposed to here, down here is geometry which I wanted to deform. So with this lattice you can uh, easily select many components uh, with quite a bit of simplicity. Um, and by the way you can always adjust and actually you should adjust the lattice shape uh, here in the settings for example, you might need more in this direction here, or say 5, and less in that direction, for example. So let's um, go to create a new scene. We go to the general editors and the content browser, and here we find under our models, for example, this face. And when we drag it into the scene, it's very big now. Uh, let's scale it down. It's actually not a face only, it's a bust. I learned that the key F is not focus, but frame. That's what it means. So we frame that object now. Let's delete um, a few faces here in order to get a better impression of the eyes. So select the faces here and I do just a rough selection like this. And I check the things from the back. I deselect the things uh, at the back. Same procedure as before. And now I delete uh, those faces so it's kind of resembling. Um, the holes for the eyes. Now I want to uh, deal with the 
eyebrows. Now select the eyebrows like this and the ones over here. Uh, so uh, now I can move them out, for example, like this or up. And with this selection, I can rotate them so he looks more skeptic skeptical. And once I've done this, and I'm working somewhere else, for example, in the in the ear, how do I get back to my selection of the of uh, of the eyebrows? Well, that's what the deformers are good for too. Let's undo this. Uh, with the four, six faces selected or 50 faces selected, you go to deform and you create a lattice. And then you have um, a very simple tool. I can move the eyebrows like this and rotate them like that. If I want to raise both eyebrows, I need a lattice which has uh, another resolution. So we go back here to the lattice and instead of uh, S di divisions 2, we create 3 for example. Now we have 1 in the middle or 5. Don't make them too complex because uh, then you're already in the detail of the original components. Uh, so let's reduce this selection like like this and um, now I can go to the uh, lattice points again and just move the eyebrow here up and down make him look more skeptical or here up and down you always have to be careful because the geometry uh, is very sensitive and uh, it doesn't want to be deformed too much but this is what the cluster is excellent for. And now when you work with the ear, for example, and select that ear, uh, vertex selection, now I create a cluster again, deform or lattice. And now I have something which only deals with the ear without making big selections, just with that cluster, or with that lattice in this case. A cluster works similarly. I show you the cluster uh, here at the nose. Uh, pick the vertices of the, of the nose here, go to the f side, more side angle, like this, just the tip of the nose. Um, and I go to deform and go to cluster. Cluster is only one point. It sits right here in the middle of that selection of components and uh, the cluster does this. So with the lattice I have more ways to deform just that part, for example, of the eyebrows, whereas the cluster just sits there and gives us an easy selection tool. It's found here in the cluster handle in the outliner so you can always pick it. So when you're back to the lattice here, for example, you've stopped working with the lattice, uh, instead of trying to pick it here, which is a little bit complicated, you just go to the cluster handle here and uh, then you have it. You can rotate it and scale it and everything, but it's only one point which uh, works here at the nose currently. Have a good day. Bye-bye.